What is going on guys? This is Lost Jetty here. Today we are back for some more Backpack Hero. Uh, where we last left off, uh, we were just finishing a run as Purse, but today we're actually going to be checking out CR8. Naturally, we have to check out the new cool skin. We're going to be playing some standard mode. We're going to see how well we can do. Now, um, what you also did not see is I just did a run uh, moments ago where I knew literally nothing about what I was doing, and I still know very little, but Basically, CR8's mechanics are completely completely different than what we're used to. So, you have a core. This, These are the things that I know, which are very few. You have your redirection valve, your switcher. You have a microchip, which lets you reorganize. And then you have your defense grid, which is your shield. So, if we do something like this, which I think is the most we can get out of this. Um, we get shields, and then we get two attacks because our energy has to travel through these pipes um like a lot of the like hacking mini games on early ps2 games and stuff like that at least that's what it makes me think of so we're gonna see how well we can figure this out we're gonna do the crypt because i'm not too confident in my um abilities at this time and i'm hoping that we get some items going to make this uh pretty solid now we're gonna go immediately to a chest of valuables and we do get more redirection valves so naturally Oh, I can only take one item. So I can do a disposable battery. Creates a charge with two energy. That seems very not helpful to us. That's a toggle. This is just a rotator. So I'm going to do that and then put this here because the distance for each space of charge is traveled before using this item adds one block. So we've got yoink all the way around and back to that. We can also take more. No, we can't take any more. Okay. Let's see if this pays off at all. I don't. Again, I don't really know what's going on here. So I'm hoping to deal enough damage that this isn't a problem. We'll focus fire this dude. Uh, just because he has less health. Uh, send it. Eight block is not great, dude. Okay, one kill. And the automation station, the machine is a grind in a way. I don't like that it auto ends a turn like that. Block all you want, man. I'm going to take damage here. And then that should be enough to kill. Okay, what did we learn? We learned a few things. Okay. Um, well. I can rotate you. Can I do this? Oh, dude. Maximum backpack. Okay. I'm assuming those are spaces that we can't use. Probably for this exact reason. My brain. My brain. Alright, um. That. Oh, alright. So if we do this, dude, we are maximizing our potential. I think that this is how this works. In addition, unuse adds seven block. But realistically, man, we already have a ton of block that's gonna be coming in here. For each of space above, get plus one block. Dude, you already know. Adjacent and diagonal shields and armor get plus two block. Plus two block. Use to switch the open side at any time. I understand how that can be helpful, but I don't think we need it right now. Um, and also, two attacks is kind of dope. So we're going to do that. On use, destroyed. I think I just want to take the, the potion. And we're going to put it in the line of fire, I think.
All right, so we got two bosses we could potentially take on. I don't know if it's necessarily worth it, but I want more items. Uh, we will take the healing. He's going to chase me down. Get a rare item of the same type. Sure, dude. I will take that for none of those things. Sure. Adds five block when an adjacent item is destroyed. I mean, it works for now. I will probably trade out of it. And we're going to make our way to the exit and hopefully not get murdered by this dude. Oh, that's sick. It actually, uh, it still, it still did its thing because I guess those were zero, zero use items. So we're going to block through, through this. No problem. I wish he wasn't uh, literally dodging half of my stuff, but that's fine. We only got like 21 damage going on for us. It may be if we rotate that, that we can get double, double use, but not really a concern right now. We may also just be a god, and in which case I shouldn't be as afraid as I am. Okay, so, what are you? When a weapon kills an enemy, add six rage to self. No thanks, but I will take this. Then, shield. It does require one energy. Requires no energy. So I think, realistically, that's just a net benefit. Let's try it and see what happens. And sure, let's go for the fight. Okay, so he's going to blow up and kill us. So let's not screw this up. If we send it. Ah. So that does, in fact, double use this item. I need you gone. Please don't blow up and kill my entire family. The curse is going to suck a little bit. Sure, dude, no problem. Uh, let's go. Okay, now, like, I assume that that is the optimal strategy. So then we just spread out more. Each turn's free spike seems great. But this is just free damage, so why not? I mean, dude, free damage. I understand it's not like no, it's nothing, but it deals one damage for zero use energy. So for this literal niche case, it seems amazing. But here we are. Who do we want to focus fire? The bee is frankly annoying. No block is probably subpar, but on the first turn, it's not going to make a big deal. All right, focus fire on my guy over here. You love to see that. How much damage are we taking? We are not taking damage. The huge backpack is a huge benefit. 21 block is, is not nothing. We are literally a well-oiled machine. I'm probably misplaying this slightly. All right, more mana, more keys, more things. 
Dude, free item is free? Free item is free? Alright, how do we, how do we, how do we, how do we? Must arrange items in a manner that doesn't suck. I think literally something like this. The key just doesn't do anything, I don't think. Oh, and then you give me items to make it even harder. Use the switch at any... Alright, so... This goes like this. That goes like this. You go in here. Amplify me, baby. Ooh. Excuse me? Oh, that was the one I had. Shoots up, amplifies, goes through sword, does these things. I understand not what goes on, but I think that works by my limited knowledge. I'm assuming items that don't demand energy you can shoot through with no problem. If they get in the way, I may be screwed. So what we want to do, again, this is me assuming how this works, is something like this. So it does does the whole shebang. I don't know if this works. Don't hate me. Just don't curse me. Literally, whatever you do. All right, give me combat that's not serious so I can figure out what, what this does. So if I fire this... It doesn't get stopped by those items. You love it. So ideally, I want this over here, I guess. But anyways, here, here's where we are. I should be blocking for enough for that. It doesn't really matter. So I want to get enough XP that I complete my loop. I love the backpack ship though, it's very satisfying. Yeah, sure dude, whatever, not afraid with the damage that you're dealing at this point. Love to see it, okay. You do that. You do this, but I can't use those spaces anyways. So now I can at least be a little bit smarter with how I use my stuffs. All right, thorns seems to be doing us well. And right now there is no negative benefit for running them. So you better know that I'm going to run them. Also, one, two, three, four, or one, two, so it doesn't matter. Poison to people is cool. That's not an item I can take, I see. Oh, I just can't take anything else. Here I am trying to optimize the strategy. Um, do I need to heal? I do need to heal. Get a rare item of the same type, dude. Screw me up, let's go. Uh, adjacent melee weapons get plus three damage. Dude, I don't even know what a melee weapon is. Oh, that is. How do you how do you think you fit into any arrangement whatsoever? 
This is just very inconvenient for everybody involved. Because we didn't need that, uh, we didn't, we definitely didn't need that armor anyways. <laughs> That's fine. All right, well, I, I can't say that I love that. I haven't seen these boots before. They look very cool. Um, let's see. Dude, I want, I want it. I can afford it. You are coming with me. And that's all that's coming with me for this time being. I will also take the upgrade. Spikes to a shield. Can I just... Dude, yes. <laughs> and, and, and it's only the best item that I've been working with. So uh, I do think I'm going to go for the XP purely for the sake of your boy needs more space in his backpack. That's just way overpowered anyways. How much block are we generating? A, we have nine spikes, which is insane. But a lot. The answer is a lot. Adds eight haste to self. Well, dude, I'll throw it in because I can use it. Adds one luck, or one energy, one luck. Can I fit you, though? No, I can't. How do we make this work? Because I can see greatness in shooting the moon. Oh, but it probably. Does it double dip? Can we use one time each turn? So probably not. It probably would not allow you to double dip. So something like that does extend our range, not by much, but it does extend it. So I suppose that's worth it. I mean, I guess ideally I want it like right here. And my bag is full anyways else, so. Give me the XP. How far are we from uh, upgrade? Up 22. We need a lot of XP to do anything. Fair enough. Fair play. I'm not going to take on the unnecessary boss. I know the XP would be beneficial. Um, we'll take on the regular boss and probably get our butts handed to us. Although I do seem fairly powerful in this exact configuration. The ability to get free damage is just insane. I could probably be slightly more optimized if I had something else over here to hit again. But frankly, I'm not very concerned with it in this exact configuration. Oh, the dude breaks in half. I should have seen this coming. You know what I'm doing about this exact situation, though? Literally nothing. You'll love to see that. I've got 30 block going. If I sound cocky, it's because I am. Dude is about to get rocked. Dodge my non dangerous attacks. All right. What do you do? All armor gets affected by it. I, for each adjacent gem, get three block. Well, um, I think I have a gem in my entire inventory. Minus two mana cost to the. All wands get the. On use, plus one mana cost this turn. No, thank you. All weapons get this bonus. All weapons get this. Okay, so 150% bonus damage. But on use, minus one damage is combat. So this is the only one that does not have a negative attribute associated with it. I don't need the mana literally for anything right now, so... WASD that into my life. Heal me, please. Uh, ooh, well, max HP is the best HP.
What can I literally do with this? When attacked, adds three spikes to self. I, I wouldn't want any other thing. Ever. Also... Deals two damage. Dude, this deals one damage. How did you know it's what I needed? Can I put this anywhere in? No, it just gets destroyed. It's not really that beneficial. It's funny how the starter weapons are actually pretty decent. Uh, we will take Deep Cave again. I'm not... Su like, I feel strong. But I also feel like the difficulty curve is going to come back around and bite me real quick. So I'm not... I'm not messing around at this exact moment. We also have 12 spikes. Dude, just take the damage. It's not worth it. Okay. Here we are. And I don't know how else to uh, deal with this. This is pretty sick. This is even better if we can get literally one more upgrade. So I think that's what we're holding out for. Redirects charge. This charge can only use one. Okay. But on use deals eight damage. But like, dude, hear me out. Does that work? Because if so, that seems sick. And also that goes like that. We should have just an obscene amount of blockage. Additionally, that does not need to be there. But that can be there. I don't know if I literally need anything else. I'll take the mana stone, I guess. You can come in, do whatever you want. I do think I want the healing. I am being a little bit conservative. Interesting, a reverser. So I can shoot it back through the same system? I'm going to take this just in case my sharp pipe ends up biting me in the back end. And I will go on to get my XP. And take on this combat. Hopefully it's not that bad. So I'm, I, I, what I need, right, is I need this to hit this. If it does that, then I did it right. If not, I'm about to take a lot of damage. Let's freaking go. I'm already blocking for 14. By the time everything goes and does its things, I'm blocking for 36. This is beyond satisfying. The other thing, though, that, that's very odd, right, is you don't see that many uh, weapons coming into the fray. Which, thankfully, I haven't had needed. But I could see how that could burn me. The block is obscene, though. All right, what else we got for things? Defensive core can be used one time each turn. When a shield or when a shield is used, creates one. Say less. So when an adjacent shield is used, creates one energy. Do I literally have a single shield in my setup? No. How do I make you fit? Somewhere, anywhere, at all. 
Like, the setup I have is seemingly pretty sick. I mean, I guess I do something like that. And, like, right now, this literally does nothing, but... If I do this, right, this is a shield. So this would go, but then this can only get used once, right? So that doesn't do me anything. So... I need to swap that with that. Do something like that, and then I get an extra attack, maybe. I don't really know. It makes sense in my head, though. Alright. Give me combat. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Please work. Oh, baby, that's sick. Okay. We love this. <laughs> dude, we have no right to be doing so much damage. Uh, Mana Stone, yeah, that's cool. But, like, dude. More thorns, please. I don't have any place to put it. Literally at all. adds to regen to yourself so listen 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 so we could have regen as well if we weren't already out of control but there's no way to re oh there's no way to refill it so why does it matter all right send it dude that's like pretty much where we're at give me free stuff that hopefully i can use I think I can take the sharp end and not be a problem. I'm just trying to optimize this layout. So right, so if we do t take this, right, this can go into a sharp co corner. And that deals 8 damage. Going back over here. This does deal 3 damage to all. That has not been lost on me as of yet. So this goes over. Hits this guy. This can only be used once per turn, so that's fine. It doesn't really matter. The machete, I would like to fit somewhere, though. I think that's just a better layout. We can move these out. We don't need those there. This can go like this. This can go like this. We have one thorns. We have one less thorns. Get weapon plus one damage. Dude, if I'm not benefiting... But yeah, you also get a... You get benefit, huh? That is a thing. So we will lose one thorn. But I think it's worth it. So we will roll that. It's literally just too much for my brain to process. So I'm like, yeah, dude, like it lays out all right. Um, each turn, this adds five block. This must be in the top layer. This does plus one damage. And because of our benefit, three block. So three. Is one damage worth two block? I guess is my question. And six coins. I mean, I might just hold off for something better. What are you? 
Black Mana Stone, dude, I don't know how to use you. I'm just not, I'm not the wise enough. So we're going to keep going. I apologize that I'm moving a little bit slower than I typically would. Again, just because I don't fully understand how everything works. Uh, we're taking some damage now. Oh, the bend. Oh, the bend just, the bend doesn't. I see, I forgot that it requires one energy to use. Now that I spent all that time trying to figure out what the, was the optimal strategy. It is very satisfying, though. I suppose it is better than what I had. All right, now this stuff is just free, though. So now, now, now it's a little bit different. All right, so projectile. Unused deals three damage to, yep, but it gets destroyed. Cool. Eight damage to poison. It is better than this. But I don't know if I can fit it is my problem. Now, I think, I think I can do this, right? Because shoots for three. Ah, disabled for one turn. So it sometimes shoots the distance and sometimes does not. I mean, this is just an upgrade. But it is a matter of fact of fitting it. One poison, er, one additional poison is just worth it. Also, the gauntlets just give it way more power, which I was uh, not paying attention to, apparently. And I should just do that because then this benefits everybody. Oh, but this also, okay. So it's, it's not as, but dude, I could put that there and then it just straight benefits it. We are hooked on phonics style, figuring this out. Right, I think I think that's a decent layout. I know I'm losing stuff. Give me more things I don't understand, please. Like I understand I could use this to switch, but I haven't had to. Destroys charge, creating two charges going to the side. Ah, I see. I don't need that though. I like my renewable energy, please and thank you. Give me the unknown event, hopefully something decent. Try to upgrade a mana stone. Do I even have one? No, I don't. Give me monies. And give me combat. Still a decent amount that we need to upgrade before we can get the, the mega loop going. All right, who do we want to focus fire here? This dude's probably going to be a pain in my rear, so we're going to go with that. Thirty-four block is sick. Dude's poisoned. He. We have you that deals six damage to all enemies. Focus fire you, I guess. Love to see that. The curse sucks. Take seven damage, no problem. And I will focus fire the other curse because I just don't want to deal with that. Love to see it. Okay. Here we are. Two shields, another dagger, which can just be free damage, but I don't think I can literally fit it anywhere. Um... Like, seven damage is just better in every every way, shape, and form. And I can't afford to lose some of my upgrades. I could give up a thorn, I suppose.
one thorn for two damage is a upgrade, yes. I mean, maybe in some world it will make a difference. I'm just doing this for my own sanity. That way I know it shoots through there, no problem. Oh, but th then then you don't you get suboptimal plays. How could we possibly do that? I for one am incapable of suboptimal plays. Dude, screw it. Just give me that. I know that works. Shadow. Alright. We actually are dealing pretty decent damage, all things considered. Please, please, for all that is good, do not curse me. You know what I don't want to deal with? Literally that. But I don't think I can afford to take the damage right now. So we we are going to take... Arbitrary... Oh, dude. We did take more damage. So it was, it literally was not worth it in any way, shape, or form. All right, you're dead no matter what. Man of Stone, cool. This Sapphire thing that keeps showing up, cool. Nothing else I want, really. Um... Dude, I want healing so bad. Is there any healing on the map? Yes, there is. After a combat. Give me things that work, please. I mean, that's just not worth the money. I think I need that. I think I need that right now. I just don't want to die. You mean the healing? Love to see that. Okay, we're back in this game. Eight damage. Or I... Why? Why would I take that? Like, there exists no situation where the poison would be worth that. I think that's one thing that probably could use a balancing pass. I mean, we are in early access, so it's, it's probably worth saying. But the... Uh, the curses, like, there are so many situations when they're not worth it. That most of the time I'm just like, just give me the raw damage, dude. Oh, here we are. We can do a straight up raw sideward expansion. So therefore, that is exactly what we're going to do. That's beautiful. You love to see it. I guess I'll take the key. I haven't had to use it at all so far in this run, thankfully. And I guess I'll take the free 10 damage. Oh, th there's the key. It paid off instantly. Was it worth anything that I actually want, though? All 
All right. So from L, I guess plus three block. Gets plus one block. So collectively. Adds one block, adds one block. So it, it gives me two block. Adds five block. So I get seven from this. Uh, when I add this in, four and five. So I get nine. So that is better than having a helmet on deck is what where basically I'm going with this. Um, I, I don't see a world where I could take that, I don't think. The five max HP would be cool, but I don't think I have a use for it right now. And there are no mana stones for me to use this, although I suppose I could toss it in and see what happens. Dude, that's fine. What else can I do? Two block to a shield. Also, dude, fine, but I can't. Regen to a ring. Nope. Literally fine. I will sell that ring, though. Twenty for you. You you are just not worth it. Give me, give me a cheap dagger, and I'll put it. I'll gladly put it into my uh, arsenal, if you will. All right, second boss fight. What do we really think? Well, I'd like to have more health than exactly what I do right now. Um, pff, dude, I don't have any healing, so we're gonna take that four damage right on the chin. I think I'm just dead. I think I'm just dead because I don't put up my block until the very end. That is a fat L. Can I... Oh, it's just to run my core. Well, G, G to the homies. <sighs> you hate to see it. Hey, listen, this was our first run with C8, and I uh, I think that's the name of the character, right? C8? Uh, I had fun with it, so I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, we might do another run with C8 very soon because I did enjoy it. But anyways, guys, that's all we got time for today. As always, this has been your host, Lost Yeti, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.